Gatsby ha somehow found something. Like, oh, yeah, I'm li <laughs> like I'm willing to bet here that these two are going to tr be trading games. We may even see yet another game five come out uh, here at uh, Del uh, Fend the North 2022 uh, between Delta Force and Gatsby. But the trick comes from who is able to maintain more of their composure because Gatsby tests that composure. He mm -hmm. holds forward. He goes crazy. He, guy, he tries to open you up with different levels of mix, different resets, different openers, and different opportunistic challenges, a real understanding of the situation. Delta Force does the same thing, but in a much more controlled way. So it'll be a, a battle of the fire versus the water. I'm going to be honest, though, even though that we do see, you know, Gatsby going a lot, I, I do honestly think that we will be able to see a really good advantage coming in from Gatsby, but also taking his time when it comes to just actually getting into advantage. Oh, yeah. You know, that is all that Gatsby really needs is just those one instances of just very methodical gameplay, which we're hopefully going to be seeing soon, especially with that sure. already going swinging with that nice up air to down smash, but doing just a little bit of the inverse effect, but... Ooh. Twice now. Twice now, Gatsby has <laughs> said, I want you to air dodge, so I'm going for this big dare. What th That can establish a couple things, but the main one that I feel like it opens up is Gatsby wants Delta Force to not air, uh, to think that getting away with air dodges is not going to happen early in this game. This leaves for, per, uh, for a potential lot of conditioning available to them. That, that Falcon kick was something else though. Gatsby is doing Gatsby things and neutral get up straight into that bomb, straight into that forward tilt. Delta Force off to a strong start after a after a little bit of a couple, uh, more than a couple scares from <laughs> Gatsby's openers. Absolutely. And again, Let's go for another dare, this dude. Oh God. <laughs> Gatsby definitely needs to be very careful because this is the one thing that might be holding him back is that unawareness. That was such a good use of a beyond Delta Force's end, but responding in kind with a very nice back air from Gatsby. Gatsby needs to be very careful because if you're not aware, Delta Force will be on top of your disadvantage. That is going to be the one main factor of how we will be seeing these games turn out. This is just so good, but that very nice down air. It's a oh sour spot again. though. Oh, that was so close, but not good yet. And trying to get that with that really nice punish on that normal get up, but not getting anything. And we're still seeing a really nice, you know, lunch trap situation going on, but not doing too much and still having a really hard time trying to control this game. This is so close and such a really good game on both of these players' parts because yeah. Gatsby is trying to make a name for himself, trying to do something. And it, that something. It's looking real scary right now. All it comes down to is how Delta Force can it respond to the speed at which Gatsby plays. This game is starting to fall into Delta Force's favor slowly but surely, finding bomb connects, but you can never count out Falcon with just how raw some of these openers can be. 150, uh, 149, now 155. Max Rage is a finally hit, but also one up to one up be out of shield. Uh, things can go by, can go wrong very, very, very quickly, but things can go right just as fast, especially with a Raptor boost like that. Oh, missing the second hit, though, so the shield is still intact. Absolutely, and 172%, <laughs> not in killing just entirely yet, but this is still That was an so up throw. scary. <laughs> but he What's got the grab, but went through the... What's up going throw? on? Up throw him! Oh my okay, God. okay. <laughs> What's going on? Delta Force, please. This is how you throw games. <laughs> this is, that's, okay. It's fine. I'm fine. But <laughs> the panic that Don't sets in when- Don't lie to the fans. <laughs> We're not fine. Nothing is fine about this. You, what's going on here? Playing with your food? I don't know about this no, one. I, it's what's autopilot. On it's true and firm autopilot. He had trusted the instincts and the instincts said back to twice. That's not what autopilot looks like. <laughs> what do you mean that's not what autopilot looks like? That looks like Delta Force trying to play with his food. I disagree. Try you disagree. I it disagree. <laughs> well, we need to have chat figure out because I don't, I don't know who's winning this disagreement right now. Well, uh, I, depending on 
really depends on just who's able to close out the set, I suppose. It, depending on if Delta Force falls victim to whether it be Hubris or Autopilot or what have you, they're not going to let Gatsby instantly come back on with aggressive options. Yet again, a forward smash on the roll read. And a finisher with Fair not finding it just yet. The arrows come out to force the air dodge. Able to go low with a reverse up B. Ooh, and that was such a really good edge guard on Delta Force's part. Really nice. Still only at 17%. Gatsby has to find something because they can definitely do a lot with what they're given right now, but I don't know how well it's going to work out for them right now. Wait, a little bit by bit. Oh, misses the full hop nair, but you're uh, full hop fair rather, but you're able to still connect into some uh, into a little bit of damage. 83 and a big opener in a big way for Gatsby, but. Man, they just keep coming back on aggressively. They're like, I'm going to land on you with a dare. That didn't work. Then I'm going to take the same angle, but it'll be narrow this time. It's like, okay, I feel like the, the, you're missing a little bit of the of the trap that Delta Force is set, in which he doesn't care what aerial you land with. It's all about the angle, and those angles are getting covered just like with that up smash, scooping from a mile and a half away but it does result in the first stock for Gatsby taken. I don't know, Gatsby said, I would like a double chocolate chip ice cream with a little bit, a little bit of, a little bit of spice on top of that. Taking out spicy that chocolate. second spicy chocolate. Yes, we love spicy we chocolate. Do. And we, we also do. like that really spicy up beat. Still keeping Delta Force, I mean, um, sorry, Gatsby off stage and Gatsby trying to go for something, potentially losing their stock because of how scary this can be. And John, you're so clean. You're so good, John. <laughs> the, the amount of coverage that this supplied and the, the scent, the smell of blood in the water. Let's take another gander at this. Uh, or at first at this opener because it follows the same kind of idea. Ledge grab into drop from ledge back air or drop from ledge up B. Uh, whichever one closes out the stock. And ooh, that man. was... That was the school far. <laughs> very far. Falcon up smash is a very good move. <laughs> we would be telling you Falcon go Burr, but you know what else goes Burr? Town and city. And this is, honestly, I don't even know where we can be going at this point because I'm assuming, as we can see, Kalos and FD were banned. So this is really, I, I, I like it, but I also don't. I don't really know how to feel about this. But I, what I will say is that I'm going to pray that we don't see the absolute murder that we saw on. Are you sure? I was talking about Gatsby. Gatsby I did know. the murdering, but Gatsby—he does a little—he does a little bit of uh, of slang now and again. He does a little bit of, of daring fire. all over the place, and Gatsby finding a big first stock on a big reversal, and it's a—it's a big way. It's a big meaning for that stock. How many times going to use the word big? One more, because that is going to stop that momentum. And momentum is everything for Gatsby, and it's everything for Falcon. Landing a dare like that can be one of those... Wow, these two are just closing out stocks before I can finish explaining anything. <laughs> what do you need to explain anything? They're doing the explaining themselves. That's just true. You know what? It. True. Let's watch the game. <laughs> we no, don't, no, no why, more. Would, why would we need commentators yeah. when we have no them more explaining? Talking. No more Falcon only. Silence and, and spellups the whole... I don't know. Whatever we're going on here, we're doing something, but it's definitely not what's going on right here because we are seeing Falcon at 102% and has not done any damage whatsoever onto Delta Force. And this is this is kind of scary. This is a treat of a set. This is really fun. I mean, oh, that roll was so, so risky, but Delta Force got away with it. And we find ourselves back into the scramble. Delta Force finding himself back into the blender, missing the last up air on that platform, but finds another dare on that air dodge. You want to get yourself to ledge goodbye so long. I'll see you again next game. Oh my god! Momentum is everything for Falcon players. They landed one dare. One dare in this stock in a disadvantage situation. They saw their opening and said, I'm going to come down on you with this stomp. That and wasn't a stomp. let it all ride. That wasn't a stop. Falcon Dare? Falcon Dare is his knee. <laughs> Excuse. Okay. Show just, that first stock again. Show that first stock again right now. Okay, this stock, sure. Just look at it. 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 He's attacking with his feet. Okay, never mind. I lied. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. I could have sworn that was his knee. 
Oh. Um, but never trust Jazzy for anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say anything. What? Back to Mad. <laughs> we got a game four. And we've got a Gatsby that's feeling right now. That's thriving, that's on fire, and that is rolling with all of these punches. Keeping things back and forth with Delta Force, who looked so strong in that game too, Jazzy. Absolutely. That, a little bit more than just strong. A little bit more. Absolutely huh? convincing, terrifying even. But I wouldn't say that if I knew that Delta Force could not respond in kind with such good Lud Trap pressure and just making it so hard for Gatsby to do anything just like we're seeing right now at 103%. This is such a hard position for Gatsby to come back from. And wow, that was really nice stall right there. Doing a little bit better in disadvantage, trying to come back to stage. And wow, really oh, nice the fair. fire detonate the bomb. But the the coverage is all over the place for Delta Force going down with that nair, but a great tech from Gatsby, 168. But they have found their way well back into this game despite an early strong start from Delta Force. A quick 100, uh, an answering 100 uh, on the part of Gatsby means that just one up smash like that could easily close out the stock. But the up B out of shield does meet the answer for Delta Force, trying to let this game come into go from tenuous to assuredly in their favor. Absolutely. This is definitely looking like such a hard time for Gatsby. Gatsby doesn't have an answer for whatever Delta Force is doing, and they're definitely trying to take off the stock, but that up B is going to end in an unfortunate position for Delta Force. Not too unfortunate because we're still at 0%, but still unfortunate nonetheless. Still trying to respond with a little bit of a... Still... Oh, uh, no. No. Yeah able to snipe out the jump with the uh, with one of the bombs and able to get the edge guard on top of all that just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at a recovering falcon and letting their uh, letting falcon's lack of resources when recovering be their own falter oh the weak uh, the second hit nair into raptor boost was certainly an option and a great intentional miss tech there from delta force throwing off gatsby's timings just a little bit like so, a hard tech to hit into an immediate reversal Nair. Try and stuff out Gatsby at every opportunity with boomerangs and arrows and fares. Oh my, closing out game number four in a very strong two-stop fashion. Means that Delta Force moves on to top 16 to play tomorrow for a slice of that very nice $5,000 pot bonus. Absolutely, and that was so good on both of these players. But it's just very unfortunate, especially considering how you have to remember it's just so much harder. I feel like if Gatsby was a little bit more, a little bit more reserved on the end of neutral, this could have been so much better because they were finding a little bit of way to get back into, you know, out of disadvantage. Sometimes, you know, not always, but it was still working a lot of most of the times. And the only thing that really could have helped that much better would have been that neutral process because that neutral is the one thing that helps you no matter what you're doing. Neutral is the foundation of the game that we're playing. Oh. Just all of the FTC overall, you already know we have, um, you know, neutral, advantage, disadvantage, but it really, you know, gets and to combo. a point. It, okay, combo, is that not a part of advantage? No, they're different. Combo state is the idea where you can tr uh, you are landing moves into e of each other in a very strong sequence without worrying about your opponent's options. When your opponent's in a combo, they just have to hold that. Why can't you just let me be right? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm it's Jazzy's right hour. What do you want? Um, <laughs> you know, honestly, I would like, uh, you know, a little bit of ice cream, you know, okay, a little bit true, of food. Yeah, I mean, I, don't say I, I only had like sandwich earlier. So like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm kind of hungry. I've been craving chocolate a lot. I've been just craving so much chocolate. I don't know. Actually, I do know why, but I'm not going to say why I know why. I just know that I've been craving a lot of chocolate. Um, you know, I would also like to be right. You know, technically, it's not my birthday. My birthday already passed, but today's my birthday. <laughs> um, honestly, if you haven't got me a gift, you should get me a gift. There you go. But I will, what chat. I will say, what I will say, th this is my favorite fun thing to do, asking for presents on my birthday. What day is today? October 22nd. <laughs> you know what you can give to me as my birthday present? A sub to House of 3000. You already know what we're about, House of 3000, your favorite production crew. Make sure you follow us on House of 3000, uh, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, where you have instantly uploaded bots. Oh my god. And we also have to bring up so many other places like on course mash weekly we do have the monthly apparently i i'm right today this is the weekly not a monthly doors open at 2 p.m 
doubles at 3 p.m., $5, and then the venue 15 singles starts at 6. This is the tea. This is